Yeah, bang, bang, Rahul. Um, years ago, I'd had, well, or loads of unlicensed fighting. Since the black guy bashed me up, yeah, uh, it took me a bit of time to get back into it. Uh, but me being that I've got my own back on him, and I bashed him up, it was like, I loved it, yeah. And so all my confidence was coming back. I was qu fighting quite a lot. Uh, and I was getting quite a lot of under car parks and in fields and and, 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 and and in big factories, them sort of fights with Joe Pyle, Alex Steen, Ray Bender, all that lot, yeah. Roy Shaw was always there with them. And go down there, I always go down there with Jimmy, Jimmy Tibber, uh, Terry Coons, Terry Sharp, because they was involved as well. And this particular time, but about 81, 80, getting on to 82 time, there we at that time. Um, just before I got nicked again, uh, I went down to a, 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 an underground show and um, went in there, just looking about, looking at fights. I wasn't going to fight that night at all, just looking, at, just looking. Uh, big cliff fields with wolves. Uh, and all of a sudden, uh, it, it, everyone was cheering, looked round, and there was this guy with about three other guys. Guy was a, you know, big face guy, big guy. I'd say, what, 16 stone? I was about, what, eight, 17 and a half, 18 stone. Big guy myself, yeah, but this guy was big as well. He had a big overcoat and it was cold, yeah. And this guy was a guy called Danny McAlinden. Uh, I got to know about Danny McAlinden because I remember seeing it on television when he fought Jack Bodell and he knocked Jack Bodell out for the British and Commonwealth title, heavyweight title. And uh, I think it was the second man he knocked him out. But in them days, heavyweights were very tiny. I think Bodell was about 14 and a half, 17, 14, 7, 14, 8. I think uh, McAlinden was about 13, 6, 13, 7. So there was only tiny heavyweights, but they could bang. They were all good bangers, yeah? I've, um, uh, anyway... Um, the night's going on. Um, that we go, we go to the bar. There's a bar part there, having a chat, and all of a sudden it kicked off. Yeah, it kicked off with Cliff Fields and uh, Danny McAlinden for some reason. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, Cliff Fields uh, is hit Danny McAlinden, but he's on the floor. Well, Cliff Fields about what I don't know. Then eight and a half, nineteen stone, six foot three, six foot four. Big man, Danny, Lack Danny McAlin had already beat Richard Dunn. Uh, Richard Dunn stopped uh, Cliff Fields with a cut eye. I think uh, Danny McAlin beat uh, Richard Dunn, knocked him out in the second round, third round. Uh, it, it, people let me know, yeah, but when Cliff Fields and, and, and Danny McAlin was fight, I don't know, he pushed him on the floor, hit him, I can't remember seeing that, any punches. He must have pushed him over and he's on top of him and they're fighting. They, they, they're not... Punch it, but they're fighting, yeah? Uh, it was broke up by Terry Coombs, Terry Sharp. Um, it was mad. It was just, you know, just going more into one. Uh, what I was about, I don't know. But uh, Cliff Fields and Danny McAlinden looked as if they was going to really have it off. The guys that was with that kid, Danny McAlinden, they was Irish too. You could see they wanted it as well, yeah? Uh, whatever they were, I don't know. But you could see they was a bit heavy, yeah? And Cliff Fields was shouting his mouth about uh, Danny McAlinden was shouting it, his mouth about whether or not them two ever got together, I don't know. But all I know is that when I turned round, Cliff Fields was on top of Matt Danny McAlinden, and by all accounts, right, Cliff Fields has knocked Danny McAlinden on the floor. Whether or not it's true, I don't know. But I, I know he was on top of Danny McAlinden. Um, them two never, ever had a fight. Uh, in the in the ring, as far as I know, I mean, I don't think I went in prison about 1983 for an armed robbery, so I'm not quite sure if uh, them two had ever fought. I've not heard nothing, but um, I know that Danny McAlinden was a fantastic heavyweight. He never backed away from anybody. I think he had about 40 fights. Then he had, he had about 30 knockouts. Danny McAlinden, a fancy for world title, didn't he? But he couldn't have beat. I mean, I think Joe Frazier knocked him out in the first round. I'm not quite sure though. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, Danny McAlinden was a good fighter, but Joe, but Cliff Fields was also a good fighter. You know, I'd love to have seen him two together. Uh, I fancy if Danny McAlinden 
or gone into the analyzer's fight. I'm not quite sure he did. People out there would know more than I do because I don't really do Google, yeah? I get to talk to people, people tell me bits and pieces. Some of it, I don't say don't do Google. I do it a little bit, a little bit to find out the records and this and the other, yeah? But I, Danny, I did look at Danny McAlina's uh, to see that he beat Richard, uh, knocked Richard Dunn out, I think it was the first, second round, uh, and he beat um, quite a lot of people, mate, good fighters as well, yeah. But um, Cliff Fields, um, I don't know, you know, I don't know if Cliff Fields would have beat Danny McAlinan. Uh, if Danny McAlinan had got into the own license fighting, I know Danny McAlinan retired in the 80s sometime, early 80s, late, I'm not quite sure, you let me know, yeah. But I fancy if Danny McAmino had got into the analyzers fighting, he'd have more likely been number one at that game, you know. M you know, it'd have been in between him and Cliff Fields. It'd been only in between Cl only him and Cliff Fields, it'd been them two, because I mean Danny McAlina would have not done Shorey, would have done McLean, would have done Johnny Waldron, would have done them all barring Cliff Fields, yeah? So that would have been a good fight. You got your give me your comments on that. You fancy Cliff Fields would have beat Danny McAlina? I don't know, yeah. But anyway, um, that fight was stopped uh, between Cliff Fields. Uh, that was a Terry Coon and Steve Sharp pulled them apart. Um, they was all long red shouting and screaming at each other. The other two Irish guys, or three Irish guys, was going mad. They wanted to get involved. Uh, Jimmy Timmick got involved, calmed it down, you know, and it was all hushed up. And I, and I had enough, really. I'd see, I'd see Lloyd Wolfram fight. Lloyd Wolfram knocked this guy out in the first round. Um, I fancy getting in the ring with Lloyd Wolfen, even though me and him sparred about, we sparred a bit, and he uh, gave me a concussion, Lloyd. I fancy beating Lloyd, yeah, late on, you know, I just did. But as you say, I did, I used to fight loads of doormen, and it was club, people working clubs. Jimmy Till would always get me people. Anyway, uh, Bang Bang World, just a little uh, video. Let me know you fancy about Cliff Fields and Danny McAlinden. Uh, if he ever did do our noises fighting, I'm not quite sure everyone will know it, everyone's seen it, because I went away in 83, well, I never see anything. Uh, anyway, let me know, yeah, bye.